So here's three different ways to tie a prosec hitch around a rope. We've got the French prosec or mashard or auto block down the bottom. We've got a swabish hitch, which is actually formed with a hitch cord. So rather than this being a loop, this is actually a hitch cord. So it's got two sewn eyes on either end of it. And then up here, we've got a standard prosec. But which one of these is the easiest to unload when it's loaded? First up, this is the auto block. So we're going to pull that one nice and tight there. And actually, if I load it a little bit, kind of by bouncing down into it, that's OK. I can kind of release it and lower myself down slowly. So next up, the swabish hitch. Bounce into that one a little bit. Yeah, it's fairly easy to release. And last one, the prosic knot. Load into that a little bit. Not really possible to release it once it's loaded. So the standard prosic like this is going to be much better to use if you are ascending a rope because you, what you don't want is as you stand up on that rope, if you accidentally touch that knot, you don't want it to be sliding back down the rope. The swabish hitch is really good, but the problem is it takes longer to tie than the auto block, which is why most people when they're climbing and mountaineering use prosic loops rather than these VT style hitch cords. So the auto block would be a much better hitch to use to back up a rappel, for example.